Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Apparently Nagito is in distress. I think. Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. C c can you, like, check his pulse? You're supposed to be a nurse, aren't you medically trained? Hello? Mikan, is Nagito alright? It looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey! Hey! How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well? If so, that's pretty light. Uh, uh, yeah. Please don't interfere. Hey. Look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right. He might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um... Apparently his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. Since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite, and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? Ah! Don't talk like that! Yes! Nagito is never going to die! I will save him by any means necessary! I see. Got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right! Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Let's go to the lobby, Fuyuhiko. Mmm, where's the- there, mmm, hi. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said goods? Damn right! Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? A surveillance camera! Fuyuhiko is talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. It looks more like a PSP Go, that thing, but, you know, okay, sure. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button? I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. What's up? Oh, it's a two-way uh, communication radio thingy majig. Hey, is this Hajime? Huh, loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi? Then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. All right! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? This is where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use. And I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> what? My control has been connected this entire time. Did that show up on the... I'm sorry. So now, it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pre pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? I get it. It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right! So, it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other for, with this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Huh. Kazuichi left this while you were resting. Damn right! This surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So we prepare two of these sets and swap each of their cameras. I see. By swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera, and vice versa. This is definitely important to the trial, or the investigation, because Hajime is repeating it for himself. Apparently he also modified it a little. It, he widened its narrow communication range beyond just household use. Even so... He still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. Wasn't he just at the motel? Is he somewhere closer? Hmm. 
You didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. Okay. So, music venue and hospital are closer than hospital and motel. Okay. From there, the single signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right! I thought the same thing. So we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. As expected of the air of an enormous organization. Huh? What is it? Nothing. Is it time to sleep? Ahem! Hope speed it is now. Please return to your rooms at now then. So the nighttime announcement comes on at uh, 10 p.m. And the communication period is supposed to be either... It's 10.30, right? I'm sorry, just let me look at the transcript. <laughs> I'm not feeling... <laughs> uh... 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. Okay. So 10.30 p.m. we're supposed to contact uh, each other, give a check-in and such. That gives a 30 minute window for someone to screw around. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys? Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? What are you a hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings for or young romantic trysts, you know? You too? What are you talking about? I don't like this! Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Unbelievable. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? I've said twice now, look at the bulletin, you moron. This is important information if there's a Monokuma symbol on it. Bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. What facilitates the necessity for a patient to be accompanied? In other words... Right, it's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Oh, you're talking about Nagato, right? Unbelievable. Then I'll just allow one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. He should have said so sooner. The bulletin was right there. The bulletin is right there. You should read the bulletin. If, you, if you're going into a new area and you're investigating, read everything. This, 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 I think this game is irritating me far too much. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez, you're pathetic. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad me leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma appears! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today we're going to learn how to make taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is... A time machine. We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kanbei. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately, they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up, because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish-shaped, because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries into the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you finished making Taiyaki. Brought to you by Monokuma!
Well, that was an interesting little historical tidbit. I wonder if that's actually true. There must be some degree of truth in what Monokuma says. Ahem! Good morning! Now then! Now we have 30 minutes between the communication period. I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo! You came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right! Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry. Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still... Nagito has an objective, clearly. He wants to see hope shine. Oh, these little cute little portrait plates. Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Um, same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad! Are you fucking serious? Uh, His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. I is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever. You are quite resigned to this. What attachment do you have to Nagito? I do understand how you feel, but don't exert yourself, okay? <laughs> hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. You know, there's a, there's a visual novel by Key called Harmonia. It just released recently on Steam. I'm th I think I'll uh, do a read-through of that. Just to, you know, practice my reading some more. Because I feel I'm doing a worse job. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello! How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke-ass faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. We're all here except for Hyoko. Where is Hyoko? What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Ah, uh, she doesn't trust anyone. Um... She has locked herself in her room. She said that from the other side of the door that she won't come- What? What? Oh my god, I'm stupid. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. So everybody's at this music venue? Is that... Oh, okay. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To, to tell you the truth, Nagato's actually in serious danger. You... I already know he's seriously dangerous. Well... No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First Nekomaru, then Nagito. Th that ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't s- You forgot the apostrophe in can't. Who translated this video game. Yes! You really can't say? That's impossible! No, I shouldn't blame the translators. I should blame the editors. Monami, why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. Another, another, another typo. Let's take a look at this, this, I realize that I'm not playing the game, and that you people want to see the game, but I'm very... Since I don't even know what's going on there. <clears throat> like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! 
please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So, until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. You're a robot. You are an AI machine. If this is a biological disease, you're in no danger. Before I could respond to Monomi, Fuyuhiko had to cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Damn it. I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat, spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. You spent the entire day in this hospital? You have nothing else to do? It is please now be Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over. Now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez, you're pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then, I'll leave it to you. Can I go in the other patients' rooms? Because I'm curious as to how they're... What are you doing? You you actually scared me. Your model in, in this lighting actually looked very spooky. Whoa, Ibuki? What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. I hope this isn't a horror game. Is, it, is everybody else okay? Akane? You're not gonna jump out of your bed and, like, uh, uh, hi. <laughs> it's night time again. It's so dark. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. <laughs> Usually, she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Akane acting like this just isn't Akane. I'm glad I can actually go in these patients' rooms. Uh, there's three sick people, yes? So, okay. We've checked on Ibuki, we've checked on Akane. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Um, Did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this, um... <laughs> this translation's killing me. There's supposed to be another R in embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Being an English major sucks. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. 
but she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her, in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that just one sigh just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time. And slowly closed my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time. Hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly. Hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. This is all bolded. Every single bit of dialogue that others are speaking is bolded. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I just wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's... just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Hey! Hey! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all that lovers, that love letters brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listened to me, want to buy this vase? <laughs> I mean, it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it, because I like you so much. Now, Makoto from the first game was also an ordinary fellow. He was deemed the ultimate lucky student. He had no other uh, admirable or remarkable traits. Hajime seems to be the same. 
but I don't believe that he is the ultimate hope once again. He must have some other hidden talent. He mentioned something about um, having not having confidence in himself, so... Hmm, I don't know. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. I, I can't believe it. Now let's not forget that uh, Ibuki broke his door lock so anybody can access his room at any time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, stop. You're tickling me. Mikon, again? <laughs> Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. Mm, you stopped moving. Oh, now I can finally. What's cyanosis? Is it like talking in your sleep? I have to look that up. I'm gonna look it up right now. I don't care. You think I care? I'm gonna look up cyanosis. A bluish discoloration of the skin resulting from poor circulation or inadequate oxygenation of the blood. Alright, sure. It has cyan in the name, so I assume blue was a part of it. Hajime's gone limp! Ah! Please get a hold of yourself! He regained consciousness? I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Mikan, why are you... Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Now that you mention it... I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? Good news. You see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Yes. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well. Best not to think about it. Now, Hajime was not chosen, like he wasn't... Was he? No, because Nagito is the ultimate lucky student, he was picked from the draw. HPA scouted Hajime out for a very specific reason. And his talent is not readily apparent, so what is it? Is it innate? Is it like a personality? I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but... It's about that time again, so I think I will uh, stop it there. Thank you very much for watching. That was Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. It is available on Steam and the Vita for $30. It is soon to be uh, ported to the PS4. So if you have uh, any of those systems or any of those things, then uh, be sure to pick it up. Support Spike's Chunsoft. I'm dying. I don't know why. It's fine. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.